Good morning guys, we are at the Canadian border, just woken up, we just had to hand our passports in. Sounds like we need to go in to, um, to the building, to the office. And we're going to get our passport stamped. Sweet, nice. Thank you, but here we come. What's going on? We had to go into the office and get our passport stamped. So. Oh, yeah. Did he give them back to us or not? Oh, yeah, yeah, I We're sitting outside Canadian Customs and we all went through with our passports. And then they said to Giggs, because he's Brazilian, they were like, Have you got a Canadian visa to get in? And he didn't, didn't know he needed one. And they said, Oh, it's going to take at least six months to get one. And we're like, Oh, we're only going in for the day. And they said, there's no way he can go in. So, we've already got people waiting for us uh, in Vancouver. So unfortunately, it kind of sucks, but he's gonna have to wait in the US and we're gonna head into Canada for a few hours and then we're gonna come back and meet him. But it turns out the US side of the border, there's nothing here. So we've ordered him a cab. We're going to a town called Bellingham. And um, yeah, I guess we'll drive there and meet him later. But um, yeah. Sad, sad. We're a man down. Before we drive into the city, we have stopped off at JJ's friend's house because she's offered us her shower to use, which is brilliant. We're going to have a shower, freshen up, and then we're going to head in and hopefully meet some people because, um, yeah, people are, are waiting, I think, by a bridge or something to meet us. I've had a shower, feel great, and we're just chilling now. These are the girls that have let us use their shower. What are your names? Sarissa. Daria. Hello. And what's your dog's name? Because your dog's Shaggy. awesome. Shaggy. Shaggy. Yeah. Hey. Hello. <laughs> I think this is the cutest dog ever. Oh, thank you. Bye, doggy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. Shaggy, you can't come with us. I'm sorry, you have to stay here. Thank you so much. It's such a nice day. Oh, it's glorious. This is the best weather we've had yet, yeah, I think. Where are they going? What? Guys, That's where we where's the RV gone? Are they serious? They're just gone? I have no idea. What? They went to the Vancouver Bridge Island. Dom and Anthony have decided for some reason, we don't know quite why, to drive the RV away. So we just parked outside. I don't think we were that long, maybe half hour, maybe 45 minutes, uh, but they're gone. We don't know why. Why have they gone, JC? I honestly don't know. I don't the only thing I can think of is uh, they went to get coffee, but I don't know. Oh, where would they go? Like they don't know where. Yeah. They don't even have cell service and they don't know their way around. No, both of them. So we're no stranded. We're, we're stranded. We're stranded. In, in Canada. Vancouver. <laughs> We've parked up the RV and uh, we're heading to find some food. We're a little bit late to um, meet everyone that's waiting at this suspension bridge somewhere. But, you know, we need to eat. Also, we need to scrap these times to meet people places. I think it's a silly idea. Are we walking this way? Um, also, big surprise, I'm meeting Nadine. Do you remember Nadine? Um, she lives in Vancouver, so she lives in Squamish and she's traveled into Vancouver to meet us. 
I have let JC and the gang head over to the suspension bridge to meet everyone and I am eating lunch with Nadine. Hey! Um, I've got a burger and some sweet potato fries. What have you got over there? Uh, this is a kale and quinoa salad. Oh. It's very healthy. Okay, maybe I should eat more healthy but in, nah, I like burgers. So we've arrived at this like suspension bridge thing. Um, apparently the guys have already gone in. We met some people over there by the camper van. Um, people have been waiting for a while. But um, yeah, we are we're heading in now. Have you been here before, Nadine? Yes, it's so good. What's it like? What's it like? Um, it's a suspension bridge. Capital has suspension bridge. Yeah. We're gonna go across Lynn Valley. I hope you're not afraid of heights. Oh, is it like that? Yeah. There's like two different ones. There's like a cliff walk. There's like treetops you can walk along there. Bridge. Okay. There's lots of heights. Lot okay. Of heights, have you done a video on this one before or not? I have. It's not out yet. It's coming out. Okay. Nadine also makes cool travel video content, by the way. You can check her out. Thanks. Cool. Oh, I think I found them. I think I found them. <laughs> That's the only one you wanted. Yeah. Did you get one with um, chocolate? Who's this guy? Oh! oh. 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 Hello. Hello. How's everyone doing? Hi. You having a fun day? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> right, this is the bridge. This is the bridge we need to go. No running. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Right, let's do it. Let's check out this bridge. Whoa, it's wobbly. Yeah, yeah. It's proper wobbly. You can hold your camera. What? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be great. Hello. Whoa. Hello. This is. I was not expecting it to be this wobbly. <laughs> We're trying to get a good photo. We're trying to get a, okay, get a good photo location. Here we go, let's go. What do you think? Okay. What are we doing? Nadine's off. Bye. Right. I'll see you at VidCon probably. <laughs> Bye. Oh, thanks, buddy. Did it, did it hit the mirror? Yeah, like both the mirrors hit because like they both stick out. Oh like man, oh, our mirror hit the other bus. I think it's cool though. Yeah. Yeah. See how he's driving? Is it chilled? <laughs> Dom's done a good little drive from Vancouver. We're back at the border. We're about to go back into the States. Yeah. That was like the quickest Ooh. visit to yeah, Canada like ever. <laughs> and now we can go find gigs because he's had to go and um, wait for us in Seattle. So it's a seven day road trip. Yeah. I'm trying to make it seven days. I'm trying. Back there sleeping, I think. Hey, anyway. so everyone's got to get up and come up here so we can see everybody. Okay. Jason. Well, that was a lot easier getting into the US than into Canada. This let us straight through. Huh. Wow. Didn't have to even get out the uh, RV. Sweet. Just switch drivers. JC's driving for a bit. How far till Seattle? One hour. One hour. One hour. And then we're reunited with our lost member. 
These girls have been following us with a sign and they've just caught up with us. Hello. I love oh. oh my god. We just watched the whole tuk tuk thing oh, yesterday. Yes, I love oh. Thanks for chasing after us. Oh my god. <laughs> What's up? Amazing. I saw y'all multiple times. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And do you, want, do you want a great photo? Oh. You should yes. get a great photo as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh, that was so cute, guys. Oh, <laughs> reunited. There he is! Oh, yeah! I'm glad we got reunited. Oh. Yeah, of course. We are somewhere in Seattle. I'm not sure where. And we're heading for some food. And we've bumped into some more viewers. Um, the boys have been tweeting out like rough locations where we are. And, um, and people have been like finding us, which is cool. We found a few more. Found a few more people. Uh, I think there's like a hundred people here, maybe more. Maybe like maybe like two hundred people. We still haven't had dinner. Still haven't had dinner. Hello. JJ, JJ can't get in. I know, it's the only thing that's open. Oh, okay, let's eat fast yeah, then. Okay. All right, we got some food. I went for tuna. Um, I could have gone for a burger, but I feel like I've had a lot of burgers, so, you know, <laughs> try some tuna tonight. Oh my God. Maybe I made a mistake. You did. Hey, you got the burger. Oh no. Burger. We just got back to the RV and there was a strange man hanging around um, and I think he's just a bit a bit crazy um, but the police were called and now they're questioning him over here um, I I think he should probably just go um, but you know the situation's kind of escalated I don't know I don't know what's going on there's a couple of uh, squad cars here there's like there's like three he's just, I don't think he's, he's threatening like he was just like, like, he's being weird about it. That's, it was just weird. Why are the police here? They said they saw on camera him on top of our RV or something. Yeah, there's a lot of druggies and crackheads in Seattle. So this, this guy was seen climbing on the roof here. And uh, he said to me, he said, I don't think you should drive the RV. And I said, why? And he said, I think there's a bomb on the RV. Which is a little bit worrying. Um, I think he's just a bit paranoid and he's a bit insane. If I, if I told the police that that's what he told me, they'd probably have the bomb squad down here. They'd probably like, well, they'd definitely arrest him. Probably like slam him to the floor, get a bit rough with him. Whereas reality is, I think he's just a bit crazy. So. Um, we did have a little check up here just in case. I think we're good. How does everyone feel about the bomb threat that we just had? That was one of the scary yeah, sketches. Nah, nah. sketch. I've been having one of Yeah? Bombs are not, not, not a good thing to mess with. It's <laughs> not a good joke. Yeah, across the line. Across the line. Yeah. JC, where are we heading? Wyoming. Uh, Yellowstone National Park. And how many hours away is that? An hour drive. Just, I don't think we just 11. For that. I think we planned for it was six or seven. Do you know it won't even be 11? It'll be like more like 15 because we'll yeah. like be stopping and like we'll stop for fuel and like. Mm. Yeah. I yeah, sleep. I can't yeah, sleep. Dude, yeah, you can. Well, it's 3 a.m. and um, we're just getting ourselves together for this long drive. And I'll catch you in the morning, guys. Um, 
I think I think we're good. I think we're safe. I don't think we're gonna blow up. That's very bizarre. Peace out. Enjoy life and live the adventure. Boom.